with all the chaos going on between Russia, Ukraine, China, US, has anybody ever wondered what India's position in any of this is actually? Because believe it or not, they don't have the best relationship with China and that's going to affect future affairs, which is going to have a direct impact on the US. So if you're scared about the future, this is probably the most important story, frankly. Sources description box below. This is going to be one long podcast, I believe podcast number four, and it's going to be separated into four small videos. Hello, real quick. My name is Zach Moss. I just got my master's studying these very things, so I want to talk about it with you guys. Subjects today I want to talk about is, first of all, I'm going to go into specific statements by the countries themselves in their own papers. A lot of times when we hear about international affairs, we hear from it from American media outlets, and we don't actually hear from the countries themselves. So I'm going to go into first China helping Pakistan get a nuclear power plant on India's border, which, by the way, Obama said is one of his greatest fears and it's essentially coming true right now. Number two, we're going to get into China's statements about their their conceptions of U.S. and India relations, which have absolutely pissed them off because the U.S. is now sending India weapons and all sorts of other fun stuff. And then I'm going to kind of get into the crux of why India and China are not in the best relationship and how this affects the U.S. So all of this, listen, if you're going to listen to any videos, okay, it's probably going to be this one because this is going to be more significant, I would argue, than the other ones that you probably would ever see in the YouTube sphere. Okay, so let's get right into it. So this is from the Hindu. By the way, I'm looking off my phone here. I don't really like doing this, but I'm moving. I film all these like back to back to back days. Okay, so this is by the Hindu, which is India's paper itself. So here's, I'm gonna read you a quote. Quote, China Inc's deal with Pakistan to set up nuclear power plant in Punjab province. By the way, that is on the border with India. Another quote, China on June 20th inked an agreement worth a whopping 4.8 billion dollars with cash strapped Pakistan <laughs> to set up a 1,200 megawatt nuclear power plant as a sign of increasing strategic cooperation between the two all-weather allies. Okay, first things first, let's just go ahead and appreciate the little shade that India likes to throw Pakistan's way. The cash strap, that's not the first time, by the way, they use that term cash strapped. But anyway, so $4.8 billion for a nuclear power plant. Guys, listen, that is a extremely problematic situation. Why, you might add? Well, because there's been 3,092 deaths on the border between India and Pakistan. India has nuclear weapons. Pakistan has nuclear weapons. Building a nuclear power plant on the border between India and Pakistan on the Punjab province probably is not the best way to solidify any sort of good relations between India and Pakistan. Now, listen. This very situation, President Obama had said during his presidency that he lost sleep out of all the issues in the world over the potential for World War III breaking out between Pakistan and India. So we're all concerned all the time with Russia and Ukraine and what the U.S. is going to do, rightfully so. And I'm not diminishing that by any stretch of the imagination. But listen, this is a literal uh, violent interactions between the two countries. Now, it's considered state-based violence. So it's very hard to figure out whether that's that's Pakistan government to the Indian government, which is also, which is, by the way, that is the case. But then also that's militants uh, who represent loosely the Pakistan government fighting with Indian forces, etc. It's all kind of mixed in as long as one of the governments is involved. That's where this comes from. Okay, so two nuclear power, power countries, powered countries, Countries with nuclear weapons both fighting each other. There's violent skirmishes and China's making it worse. Well, wow, that's really bad. Okay, what could possibly go worse? Okay, so there's a guy named Abdul Qadir Khan. And I apologize, probably butchered the name here. Bear with me. He's otherwise known as A.Q. Khan. Now, this is a guy who's considered to be kind of the grandfather of the Pakistani nuclear weapons. Listen, a little side tangent with this guy, but fascinating story. So he's a guy who was educated, I believe, off the top of my head in the UK. Now, he actually, not only did he help Pakistan build their nuclear weapons back, I believe, in the 70s, but he's also the reason why North Korea has nuclear weapons itself. So homeboy here just essentially sold the secrets to everybody. Fascinating story. So what do we do with this information? Well, there's not really much we can do at the moment other than... Let's be very careful with what our leaders in the U.S. are saying about the situation because it is a hotbed for a potential war that very well might rope us into a proxy war with China. So let's keep that in mind. China, you're playing with fire right here, homeboy. I'll get into with the future stories about why China is doing this.